Today I want to show you some vintage TV antennas that go back to the days of analog TV. Three common types of TV antennas used years ago for analog TV reception would be rabbit ears, which were used for VHF channels. And then when UHF channels came along a little later, the UHF loop was developed along with a UHF bow tie antenna. In a lot of cases, these old TV antennas were often included with a television when you bought it. That is definitely not the case nowadays. Back in the early days of television, all TV channels broadcast on the VHF band, which simply required a pair of long elements like these rabbit ears. And these were often included with TVs. You could just pop them into a hole somewhere on the top of the set and then adjust them and get reception. But when UHF TV channels came along, the antennas designed to receive them were totally different and needed to be adapted to these existing systems. And they usually just clipped onto one of the rabbit ear elements like this, and then they can be adjusted for UHF channels. And the same with the UHF bow tie antenna, just clips onto the rabbit ear elements, and then you can just adjust the antenna for best reception. Something else to note was that back in the early days of TV, a lot of televisions only had a VHF tuner in them. So when UHF channels came along, you either had to get a new TV with a UHF tuner built in or have a UHF tuner installed in or on your television. But that's a topic that's outside the scope of this video. But it doesn't matter if an antenna was made last year or 40 years ago. They're all pieces of metal designed to receive certain radio frequencies, which means that these old rabbit ears, loop antennas, and bow ties will still work to receive TV, even in the digital age of television. One big difference today is that you're going to need a digital tuner to receive TV channels, and most flat screen TVs like this have digital tuners built in. If you're using an older box style analog TV, then you'll probably need to get a digital converter box like this one, and these are commonly available at big box stores and online. One thing you'll notice about these vintage TV antennas is that they don't have coaxial cable running out of them. They have an older style of TV wire known as twin lead, which is essentially two pieces of wire with forked connectors on the ends that connected to little screw terminals on the back of the old TVs. Nowadays though, TVs have an RF connector that connects directly to a piece of coaxial cable. So you'll need to do a little bit of adapting to make these old antennas work with today's modern TVs. And a simple solution is to use one of these. This is known as a push-on matching transformer. And this converts that old twin lead wire to a connection that can be made to an RF connector on the back of a newer television. All you have to do is screw those forked connectors to the little terminals on this matching transformer and then push this on to the RF connector on the back of your television and you're ready to scan your TV for channels using your old vintage TV antenna. The next step would be to connect your antenna to either the RF in or antenna in port on your TV or digital converter box. And then as far as placing the antenna, you can try hanging it on a wall or laying it flat on a desk or table. You can also place it outside, hang it outside a window or hang it somewhere outside where it's facing the direction of your local broadcast towers. Try to mount the antenna as high as possible. That usually gives better results. And after that, you need to run a channel scan on your digital converter box or TV to scan in the free local channels that you're gonna receive. If you're not sure how to do this, then check the description of this video. I have a link to a playlist of tutorial videos I've made on how to run channel scans on a variety of popular TV brands. Now these are not high gain long range antennas. These loops, bow ties and rabbit ears are meant to be used in a strong signal area where most of the channels are broadcasting on the UHF band channels 14 through 36 or on the high VHF band channels 7 through 13. Now if you live in a really strong signal area they'll probably work good indoors to get you a few local channels or you could always hang it near a window or outside as long as it's facing the direction of your local broadcast towers. 
So this is another option. Instead of going and spending a bunch of money on a modern TV antenna, look around for one of these vintage antennas or better yet, go down to your basement or storage area and find one that you already have. You might even be able to find one of these for a couple of dollars at your local thrift store.